What's up everyone, my name is Harshil Bhavani and in this video we understand the association between platform independence and the JVM in less than 5 minutes. So let's get started. In the last video we understood what is platform independence. We also defined platform. A platform is nothing but a software configuration or a hardware configuration or it can be a combination of both. In our case we strictly refer to platform as an operating system and its underlying hardware. Platform independence in Java can be demonstrated easily by simply writing a code on one particular platform, compiling it on that same platform and now taking this compiled code which is the dot class file or the byte code to another platform and executing it over there on the second platform. This is very much possible in Java and this exactly means platform independence in Java. So which component is responsible for the platform independence feature of Java? This is the question and your answer has to be the JVM. So the JVM is responsible for platform independence. Now let's get started with what do we mean by the JVM. The JVM stands for the Java Virtual Machine. The Java Virtual Machine takes in your byte code and executes what is written inside the byte code to run your program. So when we see a program that is running, it is nothing but the Java Virtual Machine actually successfully executing all the instructions inside a byte code. Okay, okay, wait a minute. So are you saying that the byte code is a set of instructions? Are they a set of instructions? Exactly. The byte code is nothing but a set of instructions that the JVM can understand. So the JVM goes to the byte code, starts reading the byte code. It will find many, many instructions or few instructions depending upon how big your code is. And the JVM will start executing these instructions. So the byte code is not readable to us, but it is readable by the JVM. So the JVM is responsible for executing your byte code and hence the JVM is responsible for platform independence. So let's get another scenario sort. We have a Windows platform and we have an Apple platform. I'm not going to draw the logo. You know what happens when I try to draw. <laughs> so we have a Windows platform. We have an Apple platform. We decide to type our code on this particular platform and we also compile it. We generate the dot class file, which is the byte code. We also have the dot Java file, which is the source code over here on this platform itself. Now we decide to transfer it to this new platform. Let me call this a platform and not an operating system anymore. We transfer it to this particular platform and we try to execute it over here. The JV which is resident on this platform will consume the dot class file and it will run the program which is responsible for your output. So the dot class file which is provided by some other platform was executed on a different platform which is platform independence as we know already but the key feature the key component responsible for all of this was the JVM and hence the JVM is the component responsible for platform independence. Now we go ahead one step and take a look at the platform independence in terms of the JVM. Now your next question can be is the JVM platform independent? So think about it. Your Windows has a different implementation of JVM. Your Mac operating system or your Apple platform has a different implementation for the JVM. Your Solaris operating system will have a different implementation of the JVM and so on and so forth. Since each of these platforms have their own implementation of the JVM, we can safely conclude that the JVM is platform dependent. The JVM for Windows will not work on the Apple platform and vice versa. And hence the JVM is not platform independent. This is a very tricky interview question and they do ask this if, you're, if your interview is going pretty good. So please make a note of this that the JVM is not platform independent while Java itself is platform independent. That will be all for this video. Thank you so much. Keep watching.